Yo, champs in the making, Star Meister here. Pokemon contests play a significant role in the Advanced Generation and Diamond and Pearl series, and many fans await for their return. Pokemon contests are one of the most beloved features of the Pokemon anime. They add a new layer to Pokemon battling, focusing more on the Pokemon's appeal and move combinations rather than their brute strength. Contests are divided into two categories, Performance Stage, also known as the Appeal Rounds, and the Battle Stage. The Performance Stage is where coordinators show off the style and skills of their Pokemon. Coordinators can showcase an array of spectacular appeals that suit the nature of each Pokemon. They can vary from elegant, to strong, to cute, to menacing, to basically anything. Today, we'll be ranking the top 10 best performances in the appeal rounds of Pokemon contests. The performances will be ranked based on how well coordinators show off their Pokemon and their move combinations, as well as their overall wow factor. Without further ado, let's get busy! Coming at number 10 is Mei's performance in the episode Weekend Warrior. Squirtle takes the stage as it spins with Ice Beam and gracefully lands with Icy Particles. What a strong entrance! Squirtle then fills the entire stage with bubbles, putting a huge bubble in the center of the smaller ones. Squirtle hops on the giant bubble and pops the smaller bubbles with Ice Beam. It finishes off using Ice Beam on the giant bubble and freezes it as it pops, assembling a wonderful ice sculpture. The performance may be a little generic, but it was smooth and solid from start to finish. The number 9 spot goes to Zoe's performance in her debut episode, mounting a coordinator assault. The curtains open for Miss Drevis, showing only its silhouette. It then uses Double Team to further showcase the mysteriousness and mischievousness of ghost-type Pokemon. Zoe instructs it to use Confuse Ray as the Double Team images flee the stage, revealing Miss Drevis. It finishes off with Shockwave lighting the entire arena. Although this move didn't synergize well with the previous moves, it still displayed how powerful Miss Drevus can be. This performance also did an awesome job in setting Zoe as Dawn's toughest opponent for the rest of the series. Number 8 is one of my personal favorites and this is when James dresses up as Jesselina in the episode Dressed for Jess Success. How could I not place this one in my list? Meowth skillfully uses Fury Swipes to chop off some noodles, concocting a delicious ramen. The performance may be simple, but this is arguably the most unique performance of all, since it is the only one that appeals to the taste buds of the judges. With that, James receives louder cheers than Jesse did as Jesselina, and James wins the entire contest, earning his first ribbon on his first try. Continuing the Team Rocket trend, the number 7 on my list is Jesse's performance in the episode, Yes, Indeedy, It's Dawn. In a double performance, Jesse sends out Carnivine, but where is her other Pokemon? Jesse plays the flute, summoning her second Pokemon. Carnivine opens its mouth, revealing a Pokeball, and out comes Seviper. The two then danced along the music, which was a little weird but still fun. Then some viper elegantly spins to the air, and combined with Carnivine's bullet seed, they create a shimmering combination. The performance ends with some viper wrapping around Jesse and Carnivine giving off the final shine. To me, this is Jesse's best performance because of some viper's unique entrance, the splendid move combination, and the fact that Jesse didn't try to take the spotlight away from her Pokemon. Taking the sixth spot on my list is once again Zoe. You are now watching the performance of the soon-to-be top coordinator. Zoe utilizes a water field in the appeals round of the Sinnoh Grand Festival. Luminion emerges from the water and creates three aqua rings. Next, Gastrodon uses water pulse that collides with the rings, ending in smoky sparkles. Three more aqua rings were crafted. This time, Luminion and Gastrodon leap into the rings with grace. It feels like we're in a circus show. The performance ends with tornadoes spouting out of the aqua rings, and Zoe hops onto one tornado to join her Pokemon. Zoe's performances were always solid, but this is arguably the one with the best continuity, elegance, power, and synergy. This could be much higher in the list if the entire performance was shown. The Wallace Cup is one of the best arcs in the show's history, and it certainly showcased a lot of awesome performances. But in my opinion, May's performance is the best of them all. This performance wasn't the most colorful and sparkly by any means, but it was top tier in showing off Wartortle's capabilities. 
May begins by sending out War Turtle. What a great entrance as it shows off its personality and performs a handstand. It follows up with rapid spin, skipping across the water and showing its wonderful shell to the entire audience. It then utilizes the acceleration of the spin to exhibit a mid-air aquatail, an awesome way to display the power and splendor of War Turtle's tail. War Turtle wraps up by smashing its tail to the ground, blowing a water fountain and creating a mini rainbow. The performance was strong, flashy, and cute, showing us how far May has come as a coordinator. This performance is one of a kind, unrepeatable, and definitely secures its place in the history books. I'm talking about none other than Ursula's performance in the Sinnoh Grand Festival along with their Eevee twins. At first, her Eevee exhibit their cuteness and toughness as they hit each other with Iron Tail. She then instructs them to use hidden power, which is magical. But when she brings out her Firestone and Waterstone, everyone's jaw just dropped, including mine. Her two Eevee evolved into Flareon and Vaporeon, turning their hidden power to their respective colors. Ursula sure did play safe afterwards, but this was still one of the riskiest performances that paid off big time. It's go big or go home for Ursula. And this performance excellently utilized evolution in the contest stage and also showcased her ultimate trust in her Pokemon. The third spot goes to Drew in the episode Deceit and Assist. In the second appeal rounds of the Hoenn Grand Festival, Drew sends out Masquerade and instructs it to use hidden power. Masquerade's wings glow in seven colors as circles of hidden power spin around it. It then releases the power and dazzles the entire crowd. Next, Masquerade covers the stage with bubbles. It clinches the performance with Silver Wind towards the ground, blowing the bubbles to the sky. The performance was beautiful, powerful, and refreshing earning Drew a standing ovation and a perfect 100 score. I gotta give the number 2 spot to our boy Kenny in his first contest performance in the episode Settling a Not-So-Old Score. He sends out an Alakazam, which is amazing considering how early in the season this was. Alakazam makes a fiery entrance and skillfully spins its silver spoons. It enshrouds itself with light screen, displaying the cool, calm, and smart characteristic of a psychic type. It then breaks free of the barrier with Shadow Ball and uses Teleport to escape the explosion. It reappears again when the smoke vanishes. Then, it surrounds itself with hidden power and finishes off with a dazzling fireworks display. Marion said it best, it feels like we're kids watching a magic show. Alakazam may be a powerhouse in battling, but it sure is a powerhouse in contest too. It's a shame we never got to see Alakazam again. If Kenny used it in the Grand Festival, he for sure makes past the appeal rounds. Before revealing the best contest appeal performance, here are five honorable mentions which I strongly considered to be in the list. Zoe's performance with Glamio and Shellos in Dawn's Early Night. The moves were top tier and Ash even referenced this during the Hard Home Tag Battle. I ultimately caught it because it felt like Glamio took most of the spotlight. Ash's performance with Buizel in the Wallace Cup. The Aqua Jet was strong but stopping in the middle of the water as well as the water gun finish felt a little plain. Jesse's performance with Yan Mega in Another One Goodbye to Dust, the best version of Jesse's flying tactics, but it's still the Jesse show at the end of the day. Ursula's performance with Gabite and Jigglypuff in Yes Indeedy, It's Dawn. It was fun and creative, but it didn't make the list because Jigglypuff was mostly spinning, and the only time it wasn't was when it was high up in the air. Princess Salvia's performance with Togekiss in Dawn of a Royal Day. I strongly consider this performance, and there is hardly any negative thing to say about it. It just felt too generic and slow and rushed at the same time, and it didn't give Togekiss much time to show off. I know some of you guys were thinking, where in the world is Dawn? Well, I saved the best for the last. In my opinion, the best performance in the appeal stage of Pokemon Contest is Dawn's roller coaster performance in the Sinnoh Grand Festival. Dawn's theme has always been about fun and cuteness. This performance is the perfect culmination of all her experiences in the Diamond and Pearl series. Right off the bat, Baneri impresses us with the icy roller coaster, an awesome way to utilize the entire field at the beginning of the performance. Cyndaquil then uses Flame Wheel to create a path in the roller coaster where Baneri happily slides along. They follow with an interesting combination of smoke screen and ice beam, giving us flashes of light coming out of the smoke. People thought this was gonna look bad for the judges, but no need to worry. 
The smoke clears, revealing Cyndaquil flaunting a fiery wing on top of a well-crafted ice pokeball, in which resides Baneri gracefully bobbing a curtsy. This performance is overloaded with fun and cuteness that makes the audience want to join the roller coaster ride too. The final combination of fire and ice is purely majestic. It's enchanting, it's blissful, it's heavenly. It's the best! There you have it, folks! The top 10 best performances in the appeal rounds of Pokemon contests. This list is only my opinion, and there were so many other contenders that can be argued to make the list. Comment down below your favorite contest performance. And if there's anything I missed, also comment on what you want me to do next. I'm planning to make a top 10 best contest battle sometime in the future. If you enjoyed watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for further updates. With everything said and done, I hope you become the most remarkable coordinator in the world! Thanks for watching and see you in the finals!